Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obit Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Uh, today, we're having a look at Definitely Not Fried Chicken, uh, which we actually checked out a little while uh, ago, but it is released into early access, and it's a fantastic and really, really weird, uh, I guess, business management style game. Uh, but instead of doing business, you're actually doing some illicit substance selling. Uh, but it's actually got a really, really, really interesting suite of mechanics, uh, which we're going to be talking out, uh, talking about, and playing around with over the course of this little episode uh, today. So, uh, first things that we're going to do is we're going to let the game load up. Which is going to take a little while, much longer than, of course, I anticipated. Uh, then we're going to probably set up um, our initial production facilities as well as uh, a laundromat, a literal laundromat to literally la launder, launder money. It's very, very simple. Anyway, enough of this loading. Let's jump into things and see what we have got in store. Okay. Marvelous, 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 marvelous. So, uh, this is the town, and there's actually, like, a, an incredible amount of, like, stuff that you can do here. Uh, I mean, if we go to the map, you can see the, you can see the map. This is, this is, in, like, in, the entire area is, is playable. It really, really is. Um, there's a couple of really interesting sort of businesses that are, that are around, uh, around the map. There's a beach. There's a whole bunch of stuff that we're going to get to uh, as we go. Uh, the first thing that we're, this is a business plot right here, which is, uh, which is for sale, and we're going to be utilizing probably pretty soon indeed. Anyway, uh, right, what we're going to do in the first instance is we are going to buy our plot. Now, we get two plots for free, uh, and all of our plots, these are where all of our production facilities are going to be, uh, have to be on this sort of central fountain area. So we'll buy that, and we'll buy that one as well. Every subsequent plot that we... Uh, that we buy is going to cost us money. Very, very simple indeed. Right, so uh, we are, yeah, this is the factory plot. We are going to start the process of getting this all set up, uh, and it shouldn't be too difficult. What we need to do is we need to assign this tile here uh, specifically to be a road tile. Now, that is going to become uh, important in just a second, uh, but for now, just accept that it needs to be the case. Anyway, this is the production side of things. Um, we'll need to worry about making money in just a bit. But for now, uh, let's get ourselves let's get ourselves some rooms. Uh, we're gonna get ourselves a. Uh, no, I'd rather not. I'd rather do a room. What am I looking for? Business room. Uh, yeah, I'm, I would like a grow room here, please. About that large, give or take. That may be okay. The thing is that we need to squeeze in a. Yeah, we need to squeeze in a, a garage over here, which is what I'm going to do like so. Excellent. Very, very important. And we are also going to get a storeroom. The storeroom uh, will throw a door over there. Then we will build a storeroom. Something like that. Cool. And then we'll also throw in another door right over here. Okay, so in the storeroom, we're going to get what is called a, yeah, a boxing station and then also a storing station. We'll get a couple of these, whoops, a couple of those, a couple of these. Uh, you know, look, once, once we've got everything up and running, I will show you how everything sort of operates, but for now, let's just get it all down. Uh, there's nothing too complicated about this. Some growing pots, that's excellent. Uh, we'll get a what is this, a packing station or a drying pallet even, and then a cutting bench over here. Now, we may need to sort of adjust the ratios as we go, but for now, it should be fine. Uh, in order to increase the quality of the plant that is actually grown, uh, we need to introduce some lights, but we can actually turn down the end lights because we just need to, we just need a certain amount of light. We don't need, we don't need an overly large amount of light. What the heck? Why is that the case? Okay. I don't know why that was... Okay, whatever. Oh, I turned uh, turned the wrong plant. Uh, turned the wrong light down. That should be on two. And then the one at the end should be on two. Excellent. So that's going to save us a little bit of money per day, which is kind of nice. Um, let's get some staff. Let's get some staff organized and orchestrated. Uh, we're going to hire a few workers. Uh, nothing overly complicated about this. Uh, we got two workers. One of the workers we're going to equip with gardening gloves. Excellent. Thank you very much. And we're going to assign the workers specific tasks, namely uh, growing and also delivering, which is very, very simple. Uh, there's a whole bunch of other tasks here, which we're going to talk about in a little bit, but for now, it's okay. Engineers, I don't think that we actually need to worry about an engineer or a cleaner quite yet, but I am going to get myself a guard, and we are going to assign the guard 
a baseball bat, which is the only type of weapon that I have, and they are going to guard the premises. Anyway, that's sort of like the basics. So that's going to give us production of the goods, and then it's also going to allow us to guard the goods, and hopefully, uh, hopefully, 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 we'll be able to get delivery sorted uh, in just a second. So that's part one. That's part one of the puzzle. Next question is, how do we turn this into money? Well, I'll, I'll tell you. Uh, first things first, we need to buy a monument. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different monuments, and they each give us different bonuses. So we've got the order hotline, which is what we're going to buy. Very, very, very important. Costs us five grand, but we can also get the, you know, we can also buy the gym, pump some iron, your guards take less damage, construction site, decrease construction, planning costs, etc. None of it particularly matters. All we need to really do is get the is get the hotline sorted. Now, the hotline allows us to toggle this on, which is fantastic. Very, very, very handy indeed. Uh, and this, this is going to allow us to take some delivery orders. You can see our factory is right there in the corner right there. Uh, and we should be able to take some delivery orders. We should be able to take some delivery orders on the hotline, but we'll have to wait and see uh, we'll have to wait and see how that how that comes along. Anyway, factory is looking pretty darn good. Uh, literally just a case of waiting for all of this stuff to grow. Look at it. I'm having a party tonight and need some stuff. Excellent. You're looking for that? Sure. We will accept. Uh, that may very well be a timed... That may very well... Oh, there's not a time limit there. That's, that's totally fine. Um, well, we will leave that on selected. Um, you need bad quality. You need eight. We obviously don't have anything at the moment. We're still waiting for it to be harvested, dried, and packaged. All of that sort of stuff. It's going to happen. It's going to happen at a, uh, it's a reasonably quick pace, but I'm not going to stick it into uh, fast forward mode quite yet. Uh, but I will accept that secondary order. There's no time limit on either of these, so there's absolutely no reason not to, uh, not to just take it and do it. Anyway, uh, this is going to dry out here. That's great. Happy with that. Uh, let's also talk about laundering. Let's also talk about laundering money. So, if we go into, is it plots? No, it's purchase. It's purchased land. So, um, there is a whole bunch of a whole bunch of plots around the around the city. Uh, Oak Lane, for example, over here. I mean, there's a couple that are pretty darn cheap. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna buy we're gonna buy some of these. We're gonna buy some of these, and we are going to start operating our very own business. Now, there's a preferred business type in each and every uh, in each and every plot. I'm gonna purchase Palm Drive. Let's do it. Happy days. That allows us to build here, which is great. Looking very very good. Uh, after that, we need to assign a specific type of business to the to the plot. Now, a laundromat, there's there's preference there. Uh, donut shop, chicken shop, etc. All of this. But, you know, we're definitely not selling fried chicken. That's for sure. Anyway, um, in order to do this, believe it or not, we have to, <laughs> we have to purchase a permit to, we have to purchase a permit to, 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 to own and operate a laundromat. And if we unlock the subsequent levels of, of permits, we can unlock better washing machines and whatnot because believe it or not you you can make you can make legitimate money you can make legitimate money from being um you know from being a normal businessman uh anyway let's set this let's set this plot type excellent uh we now have the opportunity to go about designing our laundromat very very simple very very simple not much to consider here uh we will have a laundromat room and we will also have a storeroom let's get a storeroom over there Let's get a laundromat room over here. I mean, look, we don't need to go... We don't need to go, you know... We don't need to go big. Just needs to be simple. Right, what do we What do we put in the laundromat? Well, we've got a whole bunch of, whole bunch of stuff that we can put here. Uh, put some washing machines. Put some dryers. Uh, you know, put down a bench. Cash register. Yeah, in fact, we're going to need to get a cash desk over here. Cash desk there. Do we need to have a... Oh, I see. That's a... A fold-up thingy. Uh, detergent shelf. We'll get a detergent shelf. We'll actually put that behind the counter. That's cool. The cash register. Can the cash register go on top there? No, we can't put the cash register on there. On the top there. Uh... Oh, is it because I put it in the wrong orientation? I think I may very well have done that. Hold on. Pick that up. Put it back down. Hold on. Okay, I have absolutely no idea how we can place the cash register. A surface for cash registers? Yeah, there's a lot of surfaces for cash registers, but I can't place it down, apparently. 
Okay, I am very, very unsure as to why that's the case. We will, we will clearly come back to this at some point soon. Right, pick that up, pick that up. Do I need to maybe put it at the wall? I have no idea. Anyway, AOE admitters. Do we have anything? No. I don't particularly care about any of that. Uh, in the back, in the back, in the shelving room. There we go. Whoops. In the shelving room, we'll have a few shelves. Uh, that should be fine. Do we need a staff toilet? Yeah, I do want to get a staff room. A staff room and a staff breakout room. Nothing too crazy for either of these rooms, but a little breakout room goes a long way to maintaining staff morale. Uh, and also a bathroom here. But again, since the, since we've just got a very very simple setup, there's no real there's no real need to go, you know, too over the top. Very very simple. We don't need a shower, you know, just a dryer that sort of stuff. Let's get a TV over here. We'll get a red sofa chair. Excellent. And a coffee machine maybe. I think a coffee machine seems pretty darned reasonable. Okay, I really am perplexed at why why we're not able to get this cash register placed. Oh, look, I'm able to place it now. That was strange. Oh, I see. Was it the area of effect from the detergent thing? It may very well have been. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's get more. There we go. So we've got detergent shelf. We've got cash register. Happy, happy days. Um, customer toilets. Do I care about a customer toilet? I feel like I don't. I feel like I don't really at all. But hey-ho. Anyway, uh, we're going to open it up. We're also going to hire some workers. Workers, workers. We're going to do... There we go. You're going to do all of the tasks. Engineers. I am going to hire an engineer. And what we can actually do is we can equip the engineer uh, to only work a very, very specific schedule. So we can say, come in at 10 and... Nine in the evening. We'll pop you on to schedule one and the daily cost is going to be $12 as opposed to 102 if you were on schedule one because we've got everybody that's working on you know schedule zero a hundred percent of the time So it should be it should be pretty darn simple uh, These guys are gonna work on the regular schedule which is you know as it should be and we should be good to go So um, let's see if any customers come our way. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens We may need to make some adjustments but I'm reasonably happy with how this is looking. Now, we can change the, the look and feel of the area, but I'm not overly bothered about doing that. Um, that is that is good. That is that is great. That is happy, happy days. Uh, right, let's pop back to our factory over here and see what's going on. Uh, it's all looking good here. We're still really on our first batch of product. Uh, you know, we're we're getting there, but it's gonna take a little it's gonna take a little bit of time. Uh, are we seeing any customers arriving at the Palm Drive? The Palm Drive area? No, not really. Not really. Oh! Are you a customer? Mm. You look... You... Looking for work. Wait, how many people did I end up? Oh, that's the engineer. It's the engineer. Oh, I for completely. Yeah, we've got the engineer, but he's obviously only working the certain schedule. Anyway, that doesn't particularly matter. Fine. Uh, right. Uh, I don't really care about business licenses. Uh, local businesses. Yeah. So we can level up. We can level up, and we will be leveling up all of our different, uh, all of our different product types. Uh, the way that we do that is by delivering product to specific buildings. I need to. I need to figure out the uh, the best way to get back to my <laughs> get back to my factory. I get lost. I get lost so easily. I get lost so easily. I <laughs> it's so easy to get lost. Oh look at this. We're actually we're actually doing deliveries now. Hold on. Can I pause and go back to my factory? I feel like there's there's got to be a way that I can get back to my factory quickly. Anyway, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. We've got uh, we've got an employee who's going around a little bike. Excellent. Look at that. That is fantastic. That is good stuff. They're going on the bike. They're going to go and deliver. They're going to del uh, to deliver the product to Julia Fisher over here, and hopefully we're going to get paid uh, a pretty substantial amount of money. That's the dream, anyway. It's all looking good. It's all looking good here. Um, there's no particular. There's no particular rush. I think we're actually we're actually doing just fine on just about every metric here. Product contaminated, yes. Contaminated with what? I have no idea what it's contaminated with, but 
it is what it is. Uh, right. I don't think that we need to worry about anything else at the moment. I think everything else is looking pretty darn good. How's the dispatch going? Why are you not moving? You've just decided to take a little bit of a break? Well, I can go and check where you are, actually. I can go and check where you are. You're... Uh, you're not here. Oh, you are here. Were you waiting in traffic lights this whole darn time? I guess so. Oh, well, anyway, our bike is our bike is carrying on its merry way. God, I tell you what, there's a lot of traffic lights in this town. You know, just go through the traffic lights. I suppose that would be very, very suspicious if you did that, but... Look at this. Incredible, incredible city simulation. Beautiful. There we go. Product delivered. Hey! Uh-oh. The Major. So you're dealing dope now. I knew I was right to fire you. I'm sending a few of my boys around to cluck you up. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah. That was the guard. Uh, I think we might be in trouble here. This is a... It's okay, though. It, it happens as part of the scenario. Uh, there is not much that I can do about it. Everybody dies. It's, it's just one of these things. Anyway, uh, that's all... Part of the puzzle. That's all stuff you need to deal with. The Major is a is a big bad boy, uh, as they say. Either way, I guess we sort of... I guess we sort of... I guess we sort of dealt with that. Uh, good day, sir. Would you be willing to trade us some of your herbs? I want to get higher than that time I went to the moon. I love the fact that there is a space station literally in the center of town. And it launches rockets. Um, yeah, absolutely. I would be delighted to. Thank you for serving your country and science as a whole. You know what? I'm delighted, delighted to help out. Anyway, uh, Julia Fisher, you're doing. You've got. You've had. You've received one. You've received one of uh, of twenty. Anyway, uh, that was a complete disaster by just about every metric. Uh, the major has severely shut down my production capabilities, but that's okay. I mean, there's there's absolutely nothing that we can do about it. It kind of just is what it is. Let's hire. I actually want to hire more workers. I want to hire more workers and I want to expand. I want to expand rapidly. There we go. Can I give you gardening gloves? Let's hire another guard, even though the guard did. Uh, I'm going to be honest, sweet nothing. That's fine. Okay, there we go. Uh, I think we need an engineer to repair things, but let's do... Schedule 1. What time is it? 12.04. Let's say 12 until... 12, 1, and that. Right, fixes low health equipment. Let's see if we can get you in. I'll accept that. That's fine. Right, let's see if the engineer wants to come and wants to come and help out. There we go. You can get you can get rebuilding everything. Uh, we'll also probably hire a cleaner. And I guess you can work the same time as the engineer. Actually, oh, actually, uh, tell a lie. We cannot hire more than the current number of employees that we have. So that's uh, that's it. We're kind of stuffed. Uh, let's reduce the let's reduce the engineer's workload because, to be brutally honest, I think you have fixed you have fixed all that you're probably going to, and uh, we can we can amend that. There we go. Work from home. Work from home. Just don't work. Just don't work at all. Okay. Cool. Yeah. The, the, unfortunately. Uh, the, 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 the corpses are gonna, you know, remain there for a little while, but that's okay. Anyway, this is looking good. We literally just need to, we just need to up, we just need to up dramatically, uh, what we're selling here. Uh, delivery drivers, I would kind of like to get more delivery drivers because we're gonna be needing them very, very quickly indeed. So that's what we're gonna do. We're probably gonna double up and get another, another garage here. Garage. Now, I can squeeze another one in here. Let's get two more. Sure, and in fact, can we fit another one in? Yeah, we could squeeze another one in there if we needed to. Uh, but honestly, I think I think that'll be fine. Delivery drivers don't actually count towards your employee cap, so that's kind of nice. Yeah, products accepted here. Excellent. Yeah, that's looking really, really good. That's looking really, 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 really good. Yeah, very, very happy with that. How's the laundromat looking? How's the laundromat looking? 
Oh, well, I tell you what, we're, we're selling, we're selling some goods. We are selling some goods. That's, that's excellent. Uh, do I need to tweak anything here? I don't think so. Um, what I do need to do is I do need to actually get product delivered here. Yeah, unfortunately, we do not have any product to sell. Now, in an ideal world, I would be able to dispatch... Where is it? Uh, Palm Green Laundromat. Yeah, I'd be able to dispatch products to the Palm Green Laundromat here. Um, and we can actually, you know, specify exactly what we want and where we want it. Uh, so the Laundromat is you know, not exactly making uh, a terrific amount of money at the moment, but it might actually make a little bit of money just with, you know, clothes. It sounds a bit insane, but, uh, you know, good reason that laundromats, laundromats exist as a service, uh, but mostly probably not. Having a party tonight? I'm going to accept every single freaking time. Uh, I'm also going to really try and scale up what I'm doing here. I think it's really important. I think it's really important uh, that we get as much stuff up and running as we possibly can. Let's get some more. Let's get some more grow bins. There we go. And let's get them the lights. Excellent. Uh, hold on. That goes up to four. That goes down to two. Excellent. And suddenly things are looking good. Uh, we may have an issue with regards to that. Uh, yeah, can I maybe extend the building by one? Uh, yikes. Did I build a storeroom? Whoa, 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 hold on. I didn't mean to build a storeroom. I meant to build a grow room. There we go. Okay, so next time the engineer comes around, he should be able to fix this. In fact, he should be able to fix it now. If, uh, if that's required, that should be great. Either way, the mopeds are all in action. That is wonderful. Uh, we've got plenty of growth taking place, which is lovely. Very, very happy with that. We do need to get another cleaner, but yeah, we need to, we need to increase the capacity of our workers as well. Um, I think we do that. I think that's actually based on the plots, if I'm not mistaken. Hold on. Is that, uh, plots menu here? Yeah, plus two to maximum employees. The only issue with doing that is that it is going to leave me, like, very, very, very susceptible for uh, nefarious, nefarious conduct to take place. And I would rather not deal with that right now. I kind of just want to... Let's go at least a day without... Without... Uh, without doing any controversy. Also, yeah, there's a time limit on this one. Um, but... The good news is, is that it costs, we get a way better price. Okay. Yeah, we're ready to go. We're ready to go. It's just taking, it's just taking some, taking some time. Uh, why are we not delivering here? We should be able to deliver. Uh, oh, do I need to equip? Yeah, I need to, I need to do this manually. I forgot about that. Let's do... I can't see that time frame. Let's go you over there, and then you go over here. Cool. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. There. Yeah. There is. There is. There is that to bear in mind. I did. I did indeed forget that we needed to do that. Right. Let's go back to the factory. Let's get yet another. Yet another one of these garages. I just just don't think you can you you can have enough of them to be honest. They really are the most important thing. Let's go, you're going here, you can go here. Sure. Sure, you know what, let's, let's do that, let's do that. We doing it? I think we're doing it. Uh, you don't have a staff room either. Yeah, let's maybe get a let's maybe get a staff room up and running here. We are not exactly blessed with space, but uh, corridor. No, I need staff breakout. Yeah. Did I I deleted a table? All right. Well, I didn't delete a table. I think I just yeah put it back in. Put it back in here. That's fine. Okay. Give me a staff breakout room. 
door in there. Perfect. Let's go sofa for watching TV. Coffee machine. Standard sort of stuff. And maybe even get a toilet like right in the corner here. Yeah, I think that's good. Excellent. Very similar layout, actually, to... Yeah, very similar layout to... To everything else. Oh, look, come on. Don't don't be unhappy. Don't be unhappy. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. What's your what's your issue? You're you're hungry? Uh can we get a vending machine or something maybe in the in the staff room? I also appreciate that the TV is like about a million miles away from <laughs> It's about a million miles away from the sofa. <laughs> uh right. Can we get can we get a hunger satisfaction thing? A vending machine. There we go. Let's do that right in <laughs> right in front of the TV. Okay. No, I'm rejecting any further party offers. Okay, everybody is like, is getting a lot of stuff from the vending machine. Right, people need fun, people need hunger, hygiene, hygiene and tiredness. Uh, I might want to get a bedroom somewhere. I could maybe, like, I keep, keep clicking on that. Uh, I could maybe, like, squeeze in a little bit of a bedroom over here. I think I can do that. I think this is like a this is a proper this is a proper dodgy operation here. This is breaking like all the health and safety. All the health and safety guidelines. We can get one bed. Some fun books to read. Can't even fit in the bookshelf. Okay, well the good news is is that we've got the We got a bed in there now. There we go. Get a few get a few Z's. Whilst you're whilst you're tired. Now, uh, there's a lot of junk on the floor, but I need to fix that. I'm really really desperate to fix that. Let's get let's get this all sorted. There we go. You're still delivering here. You're still delivering there. You stop delivering there. Stop delivering there. Yeah, continue to deliver there. That's fine. I really would love. I really would love to do. Actually, tell you what, yeah, go to go to Palm Drive. I wanna I wanna start exporting to our to our laundromat. Also, uh, this this guy, this freaking guy, this engineer, he needs to he needs to up his game and actually start doing some repairs. As otherwise, I'm gonna be very very unhappy. Either way, financially, uh, we've spent a lot of the day getting stuff set up, but obviously, once we get a cleaner. Uh, things are going to be much easier to deal with. Uh, we've also got plenty, plenty of moped garages. I'm actually really, really happy with the amount of, with the amount of product that we're delivering. Uh, we are starting to see a little bit of an increase in cash here. Like, there's a lot of stuff that we just need to, we just need to get out. Uh, if I flip over to the laundromats, there we go. I think we literally just, there we go. You want detergent? I'll sell you detergent. Very easy. Very, very easy. Uh, we don't have any product to sell here, but when we do, I think it's probably going to end up going quite quickly, which is great. In fact, we have a delivery. We have a delivery coming right now. Here we go. Okay. Uh, oh, there we go. Went right past it. Anyway, we got a delivery here. There we go. Current value, 365 bucks. No, going to reject. We've got plenty of deliveries on the go. Anyway. I would strongly suspect, I would strongly, strongly, strongly suspect that we will not have enough supply to this facility at the moment uh, to deal with all of the demand. I'm just guessing. I'm just guessing. Also, can we maybe get a vending machine here too? You want detergent? Detergent is easy. Detergent, detergent is easy. No, you want some... Oh, yep, there we go. Easy peasy. 365 bucks. Literally just like that. In the drain. Uh, you're the engineer. Can you go and fix the machines? Maybe because they're being used at the moment. We can't, uh, we can't fix them. But anyway, uh, I would like to get a... No, I don't need this. What do I need? I need a vending machine. That's it. 450 bucks, but it's going to allow 
It's going to allow my staff members to stay alive. Which is very important, as it turns out. Right, back here. All delivery, all delivery vehicles are currently, are currently out, currently engaged. Which is great. Right, uh, you died, holy cow. Well, you're now a puddle. That's less than ideal. How many employees do we have? What did, one of our, one of our dudes, one of our dudes ended up dying. What's your issue? Hygiene? Okay, well, I'll tell you what, one grower. Let's hire a cleaner. The cleaner is going to do, like, literally all of the heavy lifting here. And we'll have to hope that a single cleaner is going to be enough. Uh, I'm also going to get a shower, because I feel like a shower is needed. Yeah, tiredness and hygiene. I may need to adjust the, I may need to adjust the work schedules. You're the engineer. You're quite well equipped. You are the worker. You need hygiene. Yeah. But to be fair, I mean, if we fix... If we fix the floor issue, then we should be fine. Uh, I don't have a kitchen. I would love to get a... Mm. We might have a little bit of an issue getting a shower. Might have a little bit of an issue getting a shower. But I tell you what, if the cleaner's able to do able to do their stuff, then we should be okay. What's your issue? You you literally just died. What is your beef? Well, as long as the cleaner continues to clean, then we should be we should be fine. I don't know where I don't know where corpse disposal goes though. We do genuinely need another worker. That's part of the problem though. We maybe should have got we maybe should have got the cleaner uh, first rather than another guard. Right, let's get another another worker back, eh? Uh, let's get. I don't need. I don't need to worry about which rooms they're in. Right, there we go. There we go. Excellent. Okay. You're fine. You're fine. Maybe we change. Yeah, we maybe change the things around. There we go. Give you that. Excellent. We maybe change bits and bobs around so that we can allow for a little bit more fun in the... You're sick. You are so sick. You have no hygiene. Right. So hygiene is a legitimate, like, life-ending problem, uh, apparently. Lack of hygiene is gonna kill you. Uh, let's get... Let's get... <laughs> let's get another bathroom. Sure. Very simple operation here. Okay. We are a hundred percent like we got nothing we got nothing else. Right. So let's hire for the last time, let's hire another worker. There we go. Okay. Only two of our only two of our moped delivery services are being utilized at the moment, which is not good enough. That needs to change. The cleaner did a, an absolutely bang up job, to be honest. Apart from the rotting corpse, which I'm not completely sure is the cleaner's responsibility, uh, that's looking that's looking great. You just you're looking at the corpse and smiling. Uh, the engineer is around. You should be you should be working at some point soon. The TV looks like it needs to be repaired, but you're just gonna sit and watch it uh, with the vending machine in front of you. That's completely fine. The important thing is that everything is looking good. Everything is looking good. Uh, do I need to do some deliveries? Yeah, I would love to do some deliveries, actually. You're going there, you're going there. Uh, you can start delivering over here. Uh, if I started delivering to the university, I could um, I could look at getting some, some unlocks. What is it? Local businesses, yeah. So university, um, or the gun shop, or the scrapyard, all will give us different bonuses. Uh, we can get... Oh, look at this. Look at the crazy... Look at the crazy amount of stuff that we can get. I mean, specifically, we can get toasted cannabis bed, auto auto cannabis cutting bench. Look at all this stuff. And all we need to do is quite literally deliver... It's an unhelpful, helpful hint. Uh, all we need to do is literally deliver, deliver our product to the university, which is not, is not difficult per se. It would just... It would just distract from our profitability at this moment in time. Um, and I do feel that our profitability is somewhat required. Also, since we've got the, the cleaner uh, around, we are no longer having any contamination issues, which is great. That's really, really handy. 
So it's very, very handy indeed. Also, I'm going to see if I can... Yeah, there's not much that we can... There's not much more that we can really do in terms of... You're going there, you're going there. You can go to Pam. You can go to Pam. And you're already over there. Yeah, that's fine. How... How's our laundromat doing? How's our laundromat doing? Uh, okay, so things have clearly deteriorated here as well. Uh, yeah, I presume that that's because, again, we didn't have a cleaner. Let this be a lesson. Keep your keep your room cleaned. It's it's just that simple. We do have a worker. You're in your free time at the moment. Okay, well, we're going to hire a cleaner. Excellent. And the engineer, I have no idea where the engineer has gone. You work on schedule one. There we go. Cleaner, cleaning up an item on the floor. Yeah, where are you? There you go. Here you are. Brilliant. Okay, so the contamination should stop, I hope. And the worker. Yeah, the worker's doing what the worker does. Hire another one. You can work on both. Uh, I may need to change the schedules. I feel like, honestly, the working schedule is the biggest problem that we have. Um, you know, hygiene components, that sort of stuff. Laundromat is open, but it opens at 6 a.m., so we'll need to bear that in mind. Right, how are we doing on day one? We actually... Translation key not found. Well, I'm going to assume that we made money there. But it's... <laughs> it's not a... Not a confirmed, not a confirmed thing. Right, what is the engineer's working schedule? Uh, keep forgetting, it's that button. You start work at 10. Let's get you in at, let's get you in at 7 as well. There we go. We'll get you in at 7, we'll get you in at 7 to come and fix the, fix the issues that we have. Detergent. People want detergent. That's fine. I can do detergent. Look at this. The customers are quite literally queuing up. You want some of the good stuff in the back? Not a problem at all. You want detergent? That's cool. You can, you can, you know, you can launder your clothes here. But if you want something else, I got you, I got you covered. Look at that. No contamination. The cleaner is going to town. Oh man, it's fantastic. The quality of, uh, the quality of life that my, that my staff have at the moment is, is very, very high. Oh, you love to see it. You love to see it. And we've got tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of product uh, at the moment, which is which is great. Loving that. Let's reassign you to here. It's fine, and you can continue to operate over there. Excellent. This is good. This is a proper supply chain. This is a proper, proper, proper supply chain. That cleaner is, I mean, has got their hands full. That's a lot of that's a lot of contamination in the corner there. That is a lot of contamination in the corner. But this is looking good. This is looking excellent. The factory is the factory is looking fine as far as I'm aware. We've not had any more, you know, impromptu deaths, which is great. It's a little bit annoying that we can't have a guard guarding, but I suppose if the guard's not going to do anything, then that's fine. Uh in order to take this to the next level, it's just a case about it's just a case of increasing our, our growth capabilities and uh, and perhaps, you know, tweaking a few a few bits and bobs to make to make all the difference. But this looks good. This looks really, really good. The engineer is gonna fix all of these. Gonna fix all of these lights. Which I very, very much like. Yeah, I mean look, in terms of in terms of escalating this, I think what we can do, don't quote me on this, I may have issues with what I'm about to do. Oops. I keep wanting to hold shift. There we go. Uh, we may have issues with that. Uh, I think I did have issues with the engineer not being able to access... Not being able to access the lights. But I just have to hope that that is not the case. Either way, uh, profitability-wise, we're not exactly in a bad place. In fact, I would say we're in a really, really good place. And uh, the laundromat, more than ever, is... It's it's literally we don't have to do any deliveries. It's just it's just here and it's just ready to go 
uh, sort of at a moment's notice. The trick, believe it or not, getting cleaners. Who'da, who'da thunk it? Anyway, uh, ladies and gents, I would thoroughly recommend that you check out Definitely Not Fried Chicken. It was released into early access, and uh, and what a great little what a great little title it actually is. Super unique, uh, really not like anything I've I've ever played before, and I've obviously explored quite a lot in this uh, in this genre, the management and uh, I guess business business game genre. Uh, it's really really unique. The fact that you that you play across the the city and you've got you know the different factory buildings. I mean, we just talked. To, I've just done one laundromat here, right? And a hotline. Uh, but there's like a whole bunch of other businesses that you can get. There's a whole bunch of other crazy stuff uh, that you can do. There's a whole bunch of upgrades which we didn't even touch on. I mean, there really, really is, you know, upgrades for a whole variety of things. It's a very, very cool concept. I really, really, really dig it. But hey ho. Anyway, we're going to wrap that up for now. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much for watching. My name, of course, has been Obito Potato. Check out the Patreon if you're interested in helping me if it does it as possible. But for now, and from me, I've been over to Potato. I'll see you next time. Bye.